Hey everyone, this is Lord Cucumber. I'm sort of back. Well, what can I say? I'm um, currently um, very busy, uh, both professionally as uh, privately, as you may understand. I have a daughter now, uh, as well as a son, so two kids working on that. And uh, things at the office have been sort of changing, and there may be uh, something I don't control um, that will prevent me from, uh, well, um, keeping my job eventually. It might might turn out that way, it might not. I, I don't know yet. It will not be because of my, uh, um, because of my functioning or non-functioning, but because of something that I do not control. So I've started um, programming again just to skill myself up <clears throat> in a different m way than... Uh, uh, then, then the skill set I have now, I just need something new. Uh, I started programming a while back, uh, back in 2013. Uh, you may remember a video about a bubble game that never got beyond the alpha stage. Uh, but um, yeah, I've been I've been sort of coming back to that, and I've actually made it slightly more serious. As in, I'm I'm really trying to skill up and um, get my my teeth into C sharp. Uh, in combination with Unity. And what you're looking at here is uh, my first homework, well, in brackets, um, for, for C Sharp. I've, I've, I'm doing self-study and I'm just sort of trying to teach myself by giving myself a, a, a challenge every week that's sort of on par with what I've learned. And um, this week was, um, was string time. Basically, I made a... Um, a piece of coding that tested my knowledge on strings and also tested my it challenged my base my basic understanding of uh, influencing string um, uh, constructions within the, the C sharp language now if you don't know what a string is string is basically a block of text uh, literally if, if, if you if I type something um, on the screen that's string text basically it's a block of text if you write a few words in whatever uh, program you do that in like in Word or in a game you write the name of a character or anything like that any dialogue box you write a string and that gets um, uh, get gets stored in a piece of memory and basically becomes a part of a program at that point and you can do all sorts of things with strings now this program uh, I try to write uh, to challenge myself uh, into replicating something I did way back in the 90s when I uh, coded for um, for MIRC which is a, an old Unix based um, chat program it was when the internet was very young you had internet relay chat rooms you still have them uh, but that was very new back then and that was the only way you could chat with people uh, beyond uh, just simply giving them a phone call. Um, the internet was so young; it, it, it didn't really uh, and, uh, until too much. It didn't come up too much. Um, <clears throat> it, uh, it was just that. I'm, I'm babbling. I'm trying to explain this, but my English is—I'm just too tired. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, um, anyway, this was my challenge. I wanted to replicate what I made back then, and I made a script together with another friend. Uh, to uh, actually um, uh, enter a string, basically make a text, get it into the computer's memory, and then completely flip that thing around, flip the, the text around. Like you get the, the last letter becomes the first letter, and the first letter becomes the last letter. So no matter what sentence you wrote, it would flip it around. And that's what this thing does. And it took me a shit ton of time to get that last bit in. I mean, getting the, uh, the whole thing going was no problem. But getting that last bit done, I'll just scroll down for a bit so you can see the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> I'll explain, I'll just show you what it does first, and then I'll explain where I got stuck, which took me like, three days. Hold on. And here we go. Yeah, I know, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you, Windows. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Write me a line. That's basically what it, yeah. Okay, go away, Komodo. <laughs> Komodo doesn't trust what I built. Uh, I can write any kind of line. I can just say, hi, YouTube, like this. doesn't matter if I do lowercase, uppercase, it all works. How, oh, how are you doing today? There we are, see? And there we go. Your line was, hi, YouTube, how are you doing today? There were 36 characters in your line. I also made something to count the characters. And I flipped it. 
And here you go. Your dot gnoid oyerawa. I can't even pronounce that last minute. But um, yeah, so this is hi YouTube. How are you doing today? Flipped around, and that was so difficult to do. And I also had to make it into a press key to exit thing. And here we go. We're exiting, exiting. If I'm correct, exiting. Yes. There we go. Didn't immediately respond, but okay. Um, in any case, the reason it didn't respond, and this is a bit of programming knowledge for those of you who are into that sort of thing. Um, basically, if when you build a string and you make um, a construction where it counts the character, so you have a labeled character uh, with a number on it, like so that you can target that particular character in that string, the fourth letter from the left, for instance. You have to count them first, make sure that the count is added as a label to each letter. So basically the number four is the, the fourth uh, character, uh, or you so you would think. However, and that's the funny thing here, um, here I start counting. This is like a for loop. It's, it, it loops around until it's counted all of the letters in the string, in the, in, in the sentence that I've, um, in, that I've done. For instance, if I do the word cook, uh, I have four characters, it counts four characters and then exits this bit. However, when you put that in a string, strings, um, a string, a string array, basically what you what you're doing, it counts from the number zero. Keep that in mind. And if you count it like on screen, it counts one, two, three, four, instead of zero, one, two, three. And that's what, what kept eluding me up to the last moment <laughs> and I'll show you what I had to add the only thing um, I had to add to that count when I wanted to flip it was minus one basically what I wanted to do is count it and this is like the count the, this this bit is actually the counted number I counted up here the number of characters so if I were to do cook for instance I see oh okay um, then uh, uh, I would count four characters. It would be the number four. However, if you put that into a, 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 a um, an array, it becomes zero, one, two, three. So if you put four in, there isn't a fourth character as in one, two, three, four. There's zero, one, two, three. And I kept missing that. And if you don't put minus one here, it basically looks for a character after the fourth character, which isn't there, and it kept just crashing on me. I was like, no, I won't do this, I won't count this, and kept me going for, for days on end until I figured it out. So I did, and as I, I just I made notes in this code as well. Here, array position start with zero, not one, which means that if you count something in an array, which is what you need when you want to extract it, you need to subtract one to get the exact position of your target in an array. I kept missing this point. So once it's in the array with a label, an actual label, and then you can build it up backwards, which is what I did. Every time it basically starts at the end of the array and it counts backwards. That's what it does here. So there's two minuses in here, but they don't stack. They're doing different things. This is the actual count back. And this is the fact that we don't start at four, but at three. And it's another for loop, which means it, start, it keeps looping until it gets to zero. And when it gets to zero, then it counts the last character and it exits. And then it's built up uh, a whole new set of characters, which is the other way around from uh, what, what you entered. So that's what it does. And it was a really cool challenge, cool first challenge. Anyway, I'm going to be doing more of these challenges. Unfortunately, it does have um, a bit of impact on my time. Uh, it will probably mean that certain um, plans for my channel will be postponed and also I will probably fall back to two to three uploads a week. Maybe even sometimes I will skip a week of uploads. I'm, I'm very sad to say that's the case but it's just been too busy. It's very hard to record with a baby around. I'm recording this real quick right now and I've I'm also already consuming 10 minutes of what is actually um, time that I should be using for other things. So, 
with that said, I, I do hope I can give you guys some more uh, some more gaming footage soon. But this is it for this particular uh, bit of, uh, of of video. I hope you do enjoy uh, the the fact that I'm gonna post post videos about this little endeavor as well. My next challenge will probably be to make a piece of um, software that responds to a mouse click with graphics or that rep responds to the keyboard moving a character like a graphic uh, a sprite around. I'm not sure what yet, but something in that line. So that's going to be my next challenge. I, it's probably way, way up there. Um, and I'm not sure when I'm going to complete it, but I hope I will complete it within one or two weeks, as I did with this one. Anyway, um, see you all next time. And... Um, Enjoy the videos that are still coming out. There, there's a couple scheduled before I run out, so um, uh, I will probably also set uh, get an uh, older series that I made with uh, Ludo Universalis into the um, into the old mix, and hopefully that will um, give you guys something to watch every other day as f for as long as I, I still have it. Anyway, thank you, and see you all next time. Bye bye, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and or comment. And please also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again. Cheers. <laughs>